The 2024 LEGO Dune Atreides Royal Ornithopter is a magnificent engineering marvel with both functionality and elegance. This is easily one of my favorite sets of all time, but it is not without flaw. For instance, some people don't like its technic parts and colored pieces, and that's completely understandable. So, I provide an alternative. Introducing the Brick Vault Atreides Ornithopter. This is a custom design you can purchase off of Brick Vault and piece together through Bricklink. I will be comparing the two and giving my personal choice at the end of the video. Let's get into it. Starting with the official LEGO Ornithopter. This set costs $165 on LEGO's website and comes with 1,369 pieces. The Brick Vault Ornithopter costs 145 for 812 pieces and 23 for the instructions totaling approximately $170. I found mine at my local Bricks and Minifigs for only $50. Right off the bat, we can see that the official set has a far better value, which will probably play the deciding role in your decision. But let's just say for a minute that minifigs and money don't matter. Which one is the better model? In terms of playability, the official set not only offers folding and flapping rings, but a mesmerizing landing gear action as well. These functions are breathtaking by themselves and would make any Dune fan a very happy camper. The Brick Vault set doesn't have much to speak of in terms of playability. The wings and landing gear do move, however, they must be individually positioned and this can become tedious. Next up, my favorite part, accuracy. This is a very interesting topic to mention when talking about these two builds. They both have their pros and cons. I will be using this tiny ornithopter model to cross-reference shape accuracy. Starting off with the official set's interior, yeah. There is obviously no midsection interior because of the wing mechanisms. Please note that I have fixed a lot of the colored pieces in my set, and as you can see here, they are very prominent on the official release, and I have simply modified mine while building it. The custom model's interior is not only existent, but it is very accurate to the movie. The cockpit seating is especially well designed, with both seat arrangement and control interface. The cockpit is very sloppy on the official set, only including two boring seat-like humps, though the interior might lack Holy cannoli does the exterior make up for it. This cockpit is borderline perfect with its angles, even utilizing a brand new cockpit piece up front that is, as I can tell, 100% accurate to the shape of its in-movie counterpart. This cockpit is just perfect, which is far more than what I can say for the Brick Vault one. This is not great, and in my opinion is the biggest letdown of this set. It's big and bulky and hardly gets any of the angles correct, not to mention the lack of structural integrity in the front part. Coming to the Brick Vault's tail, its taper is much more rough than the gradual taper of the official Ornithopter's tail, which is much more accurate to the in-movie model. And here we come to one of the most important parts, overall shape. Overlaying the model, the official ornithopter has a very accurate build, and its now cockpit correct wing shape and tapering tail, while the brick vault ornithopter has a very blocky cockpit and a stout tail. So which is the better pick? Disregarding minifigs and value, there really is no clear winner statistically. They both have different forms of playability and are accurate in their own ways. So here's what I say. It's up to you what you prefer. Tiny details, overall look, or functionality. This is to not including minifigures or price. 
With this said, I think I deserve to give my own opinion on the matter. I do have both. If I had to only keep one, I would keep the official LEGO Atreides Ornithopter. The functionality completely makes up for its lack of interior, and that cockpit is just gorgeous. Sure, if you get up close and personal with it, you'll see some flaws, but sitting on my shelf, this thing is gorgeous and elegant. And with that, my review comes to an end. Which one would you want if you already had the minifigures? I'm genuinely interested to see what y'all have to say. This is my first LEGO review, and I decided to do it because I did not see any other comparisons like it. See ya.